Hey, this tutorial is making a, a drop shadow, but not a different drop. Uh, uh, this kind of drop shadow here, uh, which because uh, normally when you create drop shadows, say for example, I'll make this this color, and I'll click onto my interactive interactive drop shadow. Uh, the normal thing you get you will get is this kind of drop shadow. Okay. So we can't do that in this kind of effect here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to teach you how to do that in Corel Draw without going to any graphics software. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to do delete this one first. Okay. Let me go back to the, okay, I'll just remove the transparency here. Okay. Here is my original image. This is my original image. So before before that, I'm going to remove the background of this guitarist. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a vector file. I'm going to redraw line here. Okay, outlighting the guitarist body and the guitar. And then I'll use power clip in, in order to do that. Before, But before doing that, I want to make sure that your options, if you click on tools, click on options, and when you click on options you're going to have this dialog box you go to edit and make sure this auto center is turned off so you have to turn that off and then click ok because we're not auto centering the power clip okay. so first let's lock this object first you go to arrange and then lock object okay, so once it's locked uh, you you know you can't accidentally move it because it's locked oh i forgot something we have to unlock it first i have to put so now it since it's unlocked then i can uh i can select it so we're going to put a, a transparency first click on uniform transparency i'll move this over right here okay uh, okay so i got uniform transparency uh and then then i could lock the object okay I did a transparency so that when I'm tracing the the object or this figure here, I can see my black lines. Okay. And if you go to Bezier, your Bezier tool here, then you can start tracing the object by click, 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 click and then so forth and then go over, over, over. Okay. I'm gonna make a a fast movement here so that we won't waste time. Okay, now we've got this uh, we've, we've done the power clip object now and then what we're gonna do we're gonna power clip it right so but before that we have to ungroup it first I already ungrouped this one but if you didn't ungroup it just go ungroup okay and then we're gonna remove the transparency so you go to interactive transparency and uh, click on none okay so now you click on the photograph and then you go to FX, power clip, place inside a container, and this is my container here. Just the outline I did. Okay, so you got that now. What we're gonna do now is we're going to duplicate this. So I wanna uh, let you click on the plus sign in your keyboard, just duplicate. Now click one more time and then see this arrow here? You move that there and you go to the left side and then click outside and click again and then move it down there. 
and then you make this to back so go to arrange order to back of page there you go so i've got the outline of the guitarist now so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on the the shadow here uh this you know this figure and then go to effect and then power clip extract contents because i don't want the contents which is this one right what i want is just the outline now make sure that i don't have an outline here so i click on it and go to my outline tool and click on x no outline then i can start using my interactive transparency tool and click and drag it here then you can, can kind of adjust the transparency of the, of the shadow okay let's just zoom out there okay and there you go you can put a background a colored background just that one and go to arrange order to back of page and remove the outline and there you have it a drop shadow now if you want to go to because because basically the shadow is not really that sharp because if i zoom in here it's really sharp right you can make that you can blur that by going to bitmap convert to bitmap 300 dpa is fine make sure click on transparent background okay make sure this is checked and make it grayscale because there's no color in it and click ok okay so and then once it's a bitmap they can, then you can go to bitmap effects here and you go to blur you can go to Gaussian blur and just make it uh, blurry just to make sure and click on preview so so that you can make a real realistic shadow there yeah, I think that's fine then click OK there and if, if you notice it's kind of blurry now so yeah, that's it for the tutorial.